G'day everyone, welcome to my uh, Rara's Christmas Countdown special series on my Flosstube channel. Uh, my name is Rachel or Rara, which is a nickname obviously, uh, and I am a Kiwi stitcher normally. I am also a Disney fan and amongst other things. Um, I say I'm a lot because I am a Kiwi. <laughs> I'm a one tape wonder so I don't edit, I film it as it comes. So uh, let's see how we go. This is a special uh, 24, well 25 days actually because of this first introductory video, uh, little series on my channel with a Christmas countdown. Uh, I have made a homemade um, pin advent calendar and I may have got some other advent calendars as well. <laughs> so uh, each morning from the 1st of December through to the 24th of December I will be opening the advent calendars uh, in a quick little video, it won't be a lot of um, fiddling around, we'll just open them and get on with the day. Uh, so this video is to talk about my homemade calendar mostly, um, and then just to set the scene uh, if you are stumbling on this video for the first time. Uh, so, I will set the scene first while it's on my mind. Uh, because I am in New Zealand, I'm one of the uh, first countries in the world to start the day. So I'm ahead of a lot of people. So um, for my small contingent of uh, Aussie and Kiwi followers from my uh, cross-tubing, cross-tubing, floss-tube channel, um, You'll see me on the correct day, on the 1st of December, but if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, I will be appearing a day early for you, if that makes sense. So my 1st of December is your 30th of November, so um, I'm not going to fiddle around with times and putting videos up at certain times to fit suit everyone. If I'm going to make this work and, and have a video every day for 24 days, it's going to be on my time. Um, I have family arriving in two weeks. Um, so I want to get these videos recorded early in the morning um, and uploaded so that I can then get on with the rest of the day. Um, <laughs> I've just looked at myself on the screen and realised the ears. <laughs> right, uh, I shall talk about those. Those are not, my ears are not official Disney ears. They are from a small shop um, through... Did I actually get off Etsy? Yes, she is on Etsy. Uh, her name is Carolyn and her shop is Mary Go Mouse. She does have an Instagram page and an Etsy. I haven't got my glasses on, but I'm sure that says Etsy. So, and they are obviously Sleeping Beauty. Make it pink, make it blue. And I absolutely love them. So, those are for the ears. I probably won't show this again unless anybody asks along the way. Right, let me show you the main homemade advent calendar. Um, so, it does have some pins in it already. I will start by saying by the time I got to do the cover, I was feeling the and I've had enough of homemade stuff, so I'm not entirely happy with my cover, but it's done for this year and I'm not going to worry about it. So this is my homemade advent calendar. I've called it a Christmas countdown. Um, even though the paper does have a Disney theme, it doesn't have to be Disney inspired stuff. Hello, the cats are out. If you come from Floss Tube, you will know what that means. <laughs> they're off on a... They're going. Right. The inside of my calendar... Oh! Looks like that. Let's just not lose that pin. Okay. Minus the lid that's just fallen on the ground, this is the inside of my advent calendar. And I'll pick up that lid and show you closely. Okay, so there are 24 little boxes. Uh, bear with me while I pick up the lid. Where is the lid gone? Oh, it's too hard. I will find another lid. Okay, let's just have a box over here. I fear I may have to record this video again. So, the boxes are just little, they're around about two inches square. Um, 
and I used the supplies that I used firstly I the main the bulk of the supplies are from the say cheese Christmas collection from simple stories which is a Disney themed uh, Christmas collection I also used some current and retired inks, stamps uh, and dies and cardstock from Stamping Up, um, which is basically the numbers are uh, stamped and die cut and the little white circle behind. So the tutorial that I followed, no, that's the wrong box. The tutorial that I followed, and I will try my best to remember to link it down below. If it doesn't get linked um, today, because I'll be rushing, I've got a collection shortly, um, I will add it, but I will tell you now. Uh, it, the person who put the video up is called KF, K-A-Y, capital F. Uh, and she titled the video, A Nostalgia Advent Calendar Tutorial. Um, and it's pretty much an origami fold. Those boxes are origami folds. Um, so you need a bone folder, you need some scissors to make four little snips um, and I have used glue on some of them to secure them down. I'm not going to be able to find the one. I have got one lid that needs some more gluing. Um, but inside some of the flaps become loose so I have glued them down. Okay. Um, so I've got the supplies. The pins. I have got a pin order still in the post I'm waiting for and uh, I then, because that one has taken such a long time, I ordered a plan B and I got 25 pins in an advent bundle from Jenny at Discount Disney Pin Trading on Facebook. Uh, she put together um, bundles for you. In fact, this is one of the, I don't think this bag is split. Some of them are split, but I haven't seen the pins. So she blind bags all the pins for you and, and sends them off. There are actually 25 and I only need 24, but that's fine. I should have two pins a day with three or four days to get three pins, depending on when this next lot arrives. Um, so Jenny discount Disney pin trading for 25 pins. Those pins are from mystery bags and booster sets. Uh, so I have absolutely no idea um, what families those pins come from. They're going to be a complete surprise. And I did um and ah about that because I can be a fussy person. But I figured that any that I don't want to keep will be traded. Because in exactly... 366 days from today, which is the 29th of November, I'm going to Disneyland. So any pins that I get um, that I don't want to keep, I will trade. So we bend. The second um, oh, the brain's just gone because I caught sight of an idiot outside. Um, the second order is from Beth Lung, uh, and that is currently bouncing around the world. Uh, and that has some hot cocoa mystery pins in it, and it has a bag of Mickey head icons. So the Savant calendar will actually end up with 10. There's already five wrapped by uh, one of the girls at my cross stitching group. Uh, so there's already ten of the, uh, five currently in the box, and there'll be another five added. And I also have five donuts. So I have no idea what they were. She took them off, cut them open, wrapped them up, and gave them back to me. So I will find out when I open exactly which ones I've got. I'm not too fussed on the donuts now I actually the more I've looked at pins the more I'm interested in these Mickey heads so I've got a second bag coming from Beth and I have a third bag coming in another parcel from Jenny um, which at the moment that looks like that's going to arrive before Beth's my plan is to actually not open that bag and keep that for Christmas Day but if the Beth pills, the pills, pins take forever. I might have to go into that. Um, okay, 
I think that is all I need to say about the advent, the homemade advent calendar. If there's any questions that you've got, drop them in the description, uh, not the description, in the comments below, and I will get back to you. Um, so that is that. So that is my main advent calendar, and my plan is to operate in this order from what I'm going to show you now. So I will do the pins first, if you're coming because you've found the Disney pins uh, tag and you want to have a look at my, the pins I get, they'll be the first things, you don't have to watch the rest if you're not interested. The next advent calendar that I have, if I can turn it around because it's quite big, is the storybook advent calendar. So I'll be opening one of these as well each day. So there'll be the pins, there'll be the books. My idea initially was to not have any chocolates. Then I saw this and I am an Olaf fan. Um, so I have no idea what they're going to be like inside. We will find out. It's it's not even a brand that I would normally have, but I was suckered into Frozen 2 and Olaf. So this will be the third advent calendar that I will open. And then, because I'd already got chocolate, I'm like, we'll have the real chocolate. So this is, um, this I believe is the English Cadbury's made in the United Kingdom. Yeah. So this is the English Cadbury's advent calendar. Um, we have Cadbury's in New Zealand, but I prefer, having lived in England for a long time, I prefer the English Cadbury's, so I always try and hunt out the English one. So, those are my four advent calendars. There are no more, thank goodness for that. Um, I think that is everything. So, if you're interested in pins, or you just like seeing the surprises that people get in their advent calendars, um, stick around hit the subscribe button and you will see what i get for the next well from the first of december uh, i shall leave you and i will catch you again on the first of december bye for now